All right, uh, <laughs> I just completely just destroyed that piece of brass and pull it because the crimp was so was so hard. But here we go. Just have a spent casing again. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna quick uh, quick size it. Yeah, I know, I didn't use lube, whatever. Ha ha ha, insert jokes. Now, it's sized. Here is the primer. I'm gonna pull the anvil out of this, just to make everyone happy. Put a dash of oil in there. Obviously, this isn't needed, but whatever just to make all the safety Nazis happy. Now, I'm gonna seat this back in there. There we go, seat it. Now I'm gonna get a way to mark this real quick see if the primer actually hits it but uh, quick grab another 147 green full metal jacket projectile throw this in here uh, see you die all right we are loaded just to the top of the cantaloupe there That'll make it easy. We'll measure the overall length anyway. Crimp die. Come on. Damn it. All right, back this out a little bit. All right, that's pretty. Yeah, we can, we can get a little stronger. Now that's probably a bit stronger of a crimp than you'd want on a regular projectile. I believe the camera is focused here, but you should see that it is folding, bending over here into the cantaloupe, so that's a pretty heavy crimp on there. Now, uh, quick measure this. Our overall length for this is 2. I think that's 2.107 something like that it's close it's not in focus I'm not moving the camera I'm lazy all right so let's go mark this primer real quick okay uh, this is at least will work in theory. I'm gonna put a dab of Elmer's glue in here. This should I'm just gonna fill the whole primer pocket with Elmer's glue. Damn it. This should come out. Yeah we'll do that. gonna do it like this it's a little bit high if I have to I'll cut some off so it's exactly flat but we should once this dries we should be able to see if it actually hit or not all right we are gonna go through this process one more time to uh, test uh, fat McNasty's theory here that a I just put that that a NOE cast bullet will not chamber, and I have a feeling that he's right, because these are pretty big and, well, pretty wide, which is his theory, so let's try this real quick. Come on. 
actually use a little bit of lube this time. Spent primer here. Oops. Put a little oil in it, like the last one, just because, just because we can. All right. Anvil is out of it. Let's seat this. Alright, that's seated. Let's seat this bullet. <clears throat> now, I have to go check my Excel sheet real quick to see how, uh, how far down we, how far I seated this last time. Let's get this started though. Alright, check my Excel file. Two point two two inches. So let's set this real quick on here. Two point two zero. There we got that set on here. way here. This is 2.16. Oops. Oh well. But there we go. Now, as you can see, the reason Fat McNasty is saying this is because a lot of people call for uh, matching the this rib right here in the magazine is where 556 five, cases generally uh, I have to think about that, but I don't want to say the wrong thing here, but generally where the people load their uh, 300 blackout so that the part of the bullet that measures .250 here is touching this rib. And that's why they're able to chamber with a little bit of setback. But this projectile is point, almost .3 inches at that rib and it doesn't doesn't really taper down much so that's why Fat McNasty is saying this will not chamber but one thing with these casts that I'm not sure he's taking into consideration is you cannot crimp this nearly as much as the copper jacketed so I'm going to put a very light crimp on this See how far this goes. Right there. Little, little more. All right. So there is some crimp, but not a lot. You're probably not gonna be able to see it. But too much of a crimp is just gonna squish this bullet. So you can't crimp it too much. So here we go. Here is our other round. Now uh, I'm gonna go put some Elmer's glue on the primer on this one. Wait for it to dry and we should be good to go to test these. Right, here's take two. Uh, I've got uh, I've got two two loaded up again. Same way, strong crimp. Well at least on the 147 grain there's a strong crimp. The 247 ish grain cast here coated in the high-tech coating has a pretty a light crimp on it but 
we've got, let me try to zoom in on this, we've got a uh, Sharpie slash uh, Sharpie slash Elmer's glue mix here. Hopefully we can see a hit here from the hammer firing, well from the firing pin. See if the hammer's actually contacting the firing pin enough to make it hit this. So here we go. Knock the bolt back. Hundred and forty seven grain first. Let's see if we can get a nice shot on this. Oops. Bolt release. That chambered. So, first time we tried this, it did not chamber all the way, but that chambered fine. Now, betting when we pull the trigger here, it's going to go off. Well, it'll fire. Here we go. Now, let's see if that hit anything. Oh, yeah. We've got a definite mark on the uh, primer here. Let me get a good shot of this. Where's my focus? That is a definite mark on the primer. This is the 147 grain projectile. Definitely hit, definitely fired. This had a really heavy crimp on it. And as you can see, there is some bullet set back. Let's get our. Let's get this out. See how much we actually had. Now, I don't know it off the top of my head here, but we are now at one point. One point nine nine. So there was some setback. In the video editing, I'll show the exact setback, but it definitely set back. So, let's move on to the cast projectile. Again, this is going to have a light crimp on it. Get our focus right here. There we go. Try to get a good shot of this again. All right, bolt release. Bam, Fat McNasty, you are right. How much you want to bet that's actually going to hit the primer? Let's see. Well, the bullet's fucked up. Let's uh, get a close up on this. The bullet is kind of formed at the tip. Definitely some setback. But the important part is the primer. Nothing. Nothing on the primer. So this would not a cast projectile, a wider bullet, like Fat McNasty is saying, would not set back and actually chamber. This set back, but nowhere near enough to chamber. To be thorough. Now I do remember this one. This one, what we, we were loading for 2.20. We hit 2.160. We are at 2.056 so 
there's some setback, not enough to make a chamber. So that's it. A bullet's more designed for 300 blackout, at least the one I tried, is not going to set back enough and actually fire. But uh, something like 308 projectiles that are just you know loaded in 300 blackout will that are have a thin enough nose on them and are tapered enough will set back and fire. So there you go. Part of the way movement, a career path in video, sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.TV.